EA Sports, and we are at Bill Stadium in upstate New York. A few moments ago, to the delight of this Buffalo crowd, it was the Bills racing out of the tunnel as they get set to match up with the Miami Dolphins. And we are underway in Buffalo. From his end zone, Isaiah McKenzie. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Throwing now is Allen. And on the catch right side, this is Sanders. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. Ran the perfect defense in this situation. Would have meant that there was an incompletion. It would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Third play here, this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. Now Allen. And this is going to be incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. So still a scoreless game in the first, but they're going to go for this thing on their own side of the field on fourth down. And unable to break away, they stop him a few yards shy. A surprising move here on the opening drive of the game, and the Dolphins get the football in great field position. Two and now on first down. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Gesicki. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. That one good for 13 at a Dolphin first down. For a tight end, he's got good straight line speed. And on that route, he's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there finding him in stride for really good yardage. Here's Tungabailoa on first and 10. 
and this is incomplete. He was looking for the tight end, Adam Shaheen, that time. And that'll bring up second down. You and I watched film yesterday, and you told me to watch his feet. Well, for whatever reason, his footwork just looked off on that throw. And you always love it when an ex-defensive back talks quarterback mechanics, right? Well, but you're good at it. Well, I, I try, all right? I don't know how good I am, but it doesn't take much to tell. His mechanics are off a little bit, exactly what you described. Footwork, that led to the incompletion. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Now Tua. Escaping the pressure right. Shaheen the tight end on the right side. Five yards, now it's third and five. And Brandon, as you know, sometimes it's a lot tougher to run with these tight ends nowadays in the NFL. They're just bigger wide receivers. He lined up on the left side of the formation, ran a drag route across the field and tried to work his way open. He was able to make the catch, but the defenders were there. Couldn't do a whole lot with it afterwards. Two and a throw again. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. Sanders' kick is good. And the Dolphins will jump out to a 3 nothing lead. In the end, the opening drive, Charles does yield points. Maybe not the touchdown that they wanted, though. Yeah, but bottom line, they wanted to get something out of that drive, and they did that. Three points, they won't turn that down at all. Taken at the goal line. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Let's go. Let's go. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And on that last drive, Whitford on fourth turned it over. A good job by their defense, though. They held them to three, but this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily the coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here because if we don't get it, I don't think we'll give up more than three. And that's exactly what you happened there. You think that factored in? I do. I think that he had that in his mind going into the game, that I'm going to be aggressive on offense because I know I've got a defense that can hold up their end. Play action. Now it's Allen. Steps away to his left. Singletary, a first down and more. And he takes it across the 50 to the 46-yard line. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. And good quarterbacks know that when things start to break down and they're forced to flee the pocket, they can often count on their running backs to try and bail them out. That happened on that play. Nice gain. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Forced out to his left. He'll get just a yard on the scramble in second down. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. Looking to throw again on second down. Allen, he's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. 22 yards there, a first down. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. On first down, Allen eluding the pressure right. 
And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. That's going to set him back five yards. be accepted of course and that moves him back five together with the legs, in this case the feet, did a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. To the air, Allen. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, he certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. Second down and goal. Allen flush to his right. It's a loss of 11 on the play, and that'll make it third and goal. So the shotgun snap to Allen. Flushed out right. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. He'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. Well, partner, nothing comes open here, so he decides to escape out of there, and he doesn't pick up a first down, but he does gain additional yardage to set up a possible field goal attempt if they decide to go that route. And they're going to fake it. He wants to throw it here. The fake field goal catches everyone by surprise. And the Bills have taken the lead. Right there, the fake worked out perfectly. The holder took the ball and found his man. A perfect fake field goal. Love it. An extra point by Bass. Up and good. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. Half 
After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Here comes Jalen Waddle from his end zone. And all deep in his own territory, he coughs up the football. Now this is picked up by the Bills. And he'll take this down inside the 15-yard line. So problems there on the return, very costly. Not what you need when you've just surrendered the lead. Not at all, because this now has a chance to really snowball on them quickly. Their offense was on the sidelines talking about getting on the field and getting that score back. Throwing on first down is Allen. Dancing to his left. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. Yeah, he only gets a few yards on first and 10, but he's better off doing that than throwing an incompletion or even worse, an interception. Throwing again on second down. Allen, he'll buy some time right. He hits Beasley right side. And they'll go backwards here, losing yardage to the 14. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. From the gun, it's Allen. Steps, and he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Jalen Phillips picks up his second sack of the afternoon. So that time, Charles, a quarterback helpless, really, in the pocket in the face of a pass rush like that. They were on him instantly. And this came from the edge, and those pass rushers, they have so many tricks of the trade to get around blockers. They have a lot of tools in their kit. This was pure speed and athleticism on this play, though. And they could barely get a glove on him before he got the quarterback on the ground. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. Allen. Looking for Giggs, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Justin Coleman. And it's a good return here as he'll get all the way up close to the 35. That throw, Charles, over the middle of the field and a few too many bodies in there got picked. That's a normal situation, too, isn't it? No matter how hard you try and spread the field sometimes, there's always going to be a traffic jam, it feels like, towards the middle. And if there's any type of a missed throw or maybe the ball's tipped or just too many bodies in the area, an interception can result. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. From the gun, it's Tua. And he rifles one incomplete. Well, so far in this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Throwing now is Chugabailoa. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around. And I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Pilardi now on to punt as he sends this one away. A big kick that time, 52 yards. And the Bills will be backed up to start the drive. They'll have it first and 10. 
You rarely call your punter a weapon, but he certainly was there. How about that? Pinning him down at the one-yard line and helping out the defense in a big way. I'm telling you what, if I'm a defensive coordinator, I might be thinking safety right now. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And he's only able to get it up to about the two-yard line. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. And we have to give credit to him for buying time and extending the play. But you know there's some really upset defenders on that one. They thought that they had him. Instead, he was coated in Teflon and got away. In his own end zone, it's Allen. He's got the hook up with Diggs. And he gets it to the 30 when it's all said and done. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Allen now on first down. He'll find Diggs once more on the completion. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Final adjustments being made for the second half. So with that, we get you back up to Orchard Park and rejoin Brandon and Charles. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, getting set for quarter number three here. The Dolphins down on the scoreboard, but they'll have it first as we get going in this third quarter. Here comes Jalen Waddle from his end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. Tremaine Edmonds, the linebacker, was the one disrupting there defensively. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Now on second and 13, Tua. Throw left side here, complete to the tight end, Gesicki. They'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. An extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. He'll get this out wide to Gaskin. Room to run for Gaskin. And all the way down to the 41-yard line. Well, they only needed a small gain on third down. They end up getting over 30 yards. I'm not sure this is how they had it drawn out on paper, but this is going to work out for them and then some, right? They've got a big chunk they've got to pick up. They decide to check it down, and he just turns into a pure athlete and makes a huge play for them. He's airing it out for Williams. And that, oh, nearly picked off. Well, it would have been a great time for their first interception of the game. Instead, it's second down. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Here's Gaskin. And the lane closes up quickly as he'll get about three down to the 38. 
Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You foresee incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? First down marker at the 31. It's third down. Here's Tua. That is caught. It's Williams. Touchdown, Dolphins. Preston Williams, 38 yards. And the Dolphins are going to jump back in front. And a nice job by him to catch the slant and then navigate and break free. And receivers love slant routes because it gets the ball in their hands so quickly and oftentimes on the move. And when they're on the move like that, then they get to use their best asset, which is usually their speed. And their speed sometimes, like this instance, can take them into the end zone. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. From his end zone, Isaiah McKenzie. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. come to the line to start their next drive. And they'll be working from behind now following the touchdown a moment ago on the opening drive of the half. I think the guys right now as they go out on offense, they're zeroing in on one big key. They don't have to do anything differently just because they're down. And all the way home for the Bills touchdown. First to find Diggs, he can do a lot of things. CD, he can be a possession type receiver. He can take the top off a of defense or he can do what we saw right there, make a catch and then turn it into a big game. Plenty to praise on the play, but this is also a bit of a breakdown defensively because you've got to be right on him when he makes the catch. Otherwise, he has the ability to really make you pay, and he does right there, picking up excellent real estate after the catch. And you can see the distance traveled there after the catch on the next-gen stats. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. Here comes Jalen Waddle from his end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start trying to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. Teron Johnson able to pick it, and they're going to be set up in the red zone right around the 17-yard line. But when I looked down, he was kind of shaking his head right after he threw that pass. So what did you see? Well, from a defense's perspective, anytime you have your eyes back towards the quarterback, you're in a position to make a play on the ball, whether it's a big-time play by you or an overthrow by the quarterback. You have a much better opportunity. Out to it, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Jalen Phillips able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. Now, the number one mission of any offensive line, you got to protect that quarterback, keep him safe back there. This time, the rush got to him in a hurry. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Another try after the first down sack. Allen into a double team and it's intercepted picked off by jason mccourty and a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back oh timing is everything on a route like this he tried to drive that football into a tight spot and if you're a little early or a little late chances are there's going to be someone there and sure enough this one's going the other way The Dolphins at the line, ready for their next drive. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. <laughs> see what happens. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to him. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. 
and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. On first down, Tonga Bailoa. Over the middle, he's got Gasicki, the big 6'5 tight end. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. They'll come up now on second and a yard. This is Gaskin on the carry. And he'll have a Dolphins first down as he gets it up past the 35. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. Play action. Now it's Tua. They'll roll him out right. And he's got his tight end. It's Mike Gesicki. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 45 yard line. They'll run now with Gaskin. He takes this for about six down inside the 40. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. Gaskin again on second down. And he'll get four here down to the 35-yard line. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. Doug of Iloa going to try and throw on third down. Escaping the pressure right. Open receiver here. Complete. It's Parker. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Miles Gaskin, a 12-yard touchdown run. And the Dolphins are once again going to retake the lead. A late turnover so often the difference in a ball game, and here the turnover leads to the go-ahead touchdown. So repeat after me, partner. You have to take care of the football. In order to protect the lead, you must take care of the football. Ball security. How many times do they have to say it? They've been preaching it since day one of camp, and it came back to bite them right there. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. From his end zone, Isaiah McKenzie. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled it to 15. Offense ready to go for their next drive. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. And he'll be out of bounds right around the 20. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. Brings up second down. 
Allen now looks to throw. Oh, Allen cannot get away, and down he goes. Jalen Phillips, who else? He's in there for his fourth sack of the afternoon. The Bills on third down, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and eight. Allen going to throw. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by Jason McCourty. And they will set up shop in enemy territory at the 42-yard line. Second straight drive now here, Charles, that have ended with an interception. And I just wonder, because I don't think it's going to rattle him necessarily, but I also wonder if it's going to nerve him a little bit. Does it lead to another one? Or does he find a way to pull it together and become sharp again? And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. Gaskin again on second down. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. Maybe flashback to high school or college, <laughs> carrying it around campus, right? The old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 44 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Defense still with three timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them here as the kneel down comes. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Down to a knee here. The defense still with a couple of timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds left to go. Tongue of Iloa looking to throw it. Yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. And his kick is good, not by much. It was leaking oil in the end, but he tucks it in the bottom right corner. And that will add three more to their lead and pushes it up to six. After the field goal, here comes Sanders to kick it away. From his end zone, Isaiah McKenzie. And with time a factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll start things out at the 25. come to the line to start their next drive one possession game <laughs> time very much a factor 
How does the offense handle this situation? Well, in a lot of cases, they should be somewhat relaxed. And I know that's counterintuitive because this is a pressure situation. But this is Friday practice every week of the season. You go over this situation, having to go downfield, limited timeouts, got to get out of bounds and keep the drive going and set yourself up defensively. You can't just lay back and let them do whatever they want. So it is a cat and mouse deal here. How much pressure will the defense bring and how much pressure can the offense handle? We're going to find out. Allen. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game. So after the sack, Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long. Now Allen. Buying time to his left. He opted to go with a scramble, gets two yards, and now it's fourth. Well, there were a couple of extra defensive backs in the game, so he really had nowhere to go with the football despite his search for an open receiver. It says you take off and run for it, but he comes up well short of the line to gain. One final shot. They'll look to throw. He's going to let it fly. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. So a victory here for the Miami Dolphins. And we talk so much about the turnover battle, determining who wins, who loses. This game, no exception. Air-free football, no turnovers at all, and they win it. So this is one you don't have to convince your team that what you're saying is accurate. And you know what I'm talking about. Head coach.